Split element is a tool that I will use oftentimes when I have a design that I want to use the majority of but need to take a piece out of. Um, so let's look at how that application might work. So in uh, this design I have here, I have two letters. Um, they're not letters anymore. They're, they're just digitized elements in the shape of letters, right? Um, but I have a T and then an S, and what I would prefer to have is the middle part of the S look like it's going behind the T, so uh, it kind of weaves around and spins around the S. So to do that, I want to split the S part, and um, I would do that kind of right here in line with the T and right there in line with the T. And what I will use to do that is split element. So to start, I want to select the S. Now the S was created using a column two. Um, I'm going to zoom in because I don't edit well from far away. And I may take it out of 3D just to, to see a little bit more easily where that line would be. And when I hover over my wireframe line, I can add a point, and to use split element, I need to have a point on each side of this. I'm going to come up here and add another point. Now I have both those points. I'm going to have one selected. I'm going to hold control, click on the other. Now I have both of them selected. They're filled in dark. That's how you know they're selected. I'm then going to right click on the point, one of the two selected points, go to operation, and go to split element. Okay, so now I have two pieces. I have the top piece of the S and the bottom piece of the S. So the top piece of the S, I just have a little bit more to deal with. So I'm going to add a point here. I'm going to add a point here. I'm going to select them both. I have one. Uh, so you can hold control, select the other. You could also just hold shift and click and drag a box around both the points right click operations split element so now I have the top piece that I want the middle piece that I really don't want and then the bottom piece so I'm going to select that middle piece I'm going to uh, press delete on my keyboard to get rid of it now when I split this element I lost my stitch direction so I'm gonna go back in and edit back in some stitch directions Maybe not quite so tight man something about there less. All right, and then this bottom piece, I will do the same thing. Throw in my stitch directions. There we go. And maybe there. So now if I look in 3D, this is looking like the S is going behind the T. Um, because the start of the S, uh, the end of the first piece and the start of the second piece are far enough apart, it is generating a trim, trim automatically. If it wasn't, you could always go in and add a trim um, just to make sure that you're not going to get a connector stitch going across that because that would kind of ruin the illusion. Um, but just with a, a couple of quick, simple editing shortcuts, we made that S kind of wrap around and look like it's going behind the T. Um, so split element can definitely be used to gain you uh, some, some visual depth and, and remove pieces that you don't want, keep pieces that you do. You also can use it, instead of removing pieces, you can use it to find a place to insert. So let's look at another design. I've got a leaf on, on screen, um, or at least I will in just a moment. There we go. Um, so let's come back over, look at this leaf, and see how we can use split element to add a little bit more detail. So I have on screen this leaf. It is sewing the fill and then the outline and then the middle piece. It could do the middle piece and then the outline. Uh, it's kind of up to you. Um, but this middle piece is just a little boring. And what I could choose to do is add some veins. Now, this is a walk stitch, so there aren't sides to it. So to use split element, 
I really just need to add a single point, right click on it, go to operations and say split element. So now I have this piece and I could start again with another walk. Probably going to make that be a retrace so that I end where I started and then do it again over here. Let's make sure that we do that with a retrace. Do this vein. All right, so now we'll go up a little bit and I should probably add another one. So let's do about here. So I'm gonna insert a point by clicking on the line, right click, operations, split element. And I'll grab that walk tool again and I'll say retrace. Come up. Since it ended right there, I'm gonna start the next one up and just for fun we'll do it one more time with just a little bitty one up here insert a point right click operations split element now on my own computer I use split element enough that I actually have it set up as a keyboard shortcut you can do the same thing with your accelerator keys it's totally up to you all right and then I'm going to grab all the walk normals and I'm going to change them to a bean stitch just because in my experience uh, three threads on a bean stitch and two on a retrace is harder to tell the difference than one thread on a walk normal and two on a retrace um, that tends to show up a little bit more but just with split element I was then able to go in and add those veins add that detail on that leaf very easily and I think I did it let me double check so yeah, if I hit update, auto ties and trims, um, then I didn't add any trims. I didn't introduce anything into that design like a trim. So uh, split element can absolutely be used to go in and grab just a chunk of what you want and either delete it or copy it and paste it to another document. Or in the case that we did with the leaf, um, you can go in and insert pieces by splitting an element and then inserting elements like a walk normal like we did for those veins inside and add dimension add detail without adding trims so split element definitely a handy tool to have at your disposal um, and again i use it so often that i actually have it set up for one of my keyboard shortcuts but take a look at it play around with it and see what will work for you